Hello and welcome back to another new video. Today is a super interesting fish store tour because this is a brand new store and it's being run by someone who used to work at ADA with Mr. Takashi Amano closely with him. So this store is going to be awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. So from the outside, this is what it looks like. It's called Aqua Grass and it's only just over a year old, I think. So you can see outside You've got driftwood, a few different varieties and a few sizes as well. And when we go inside, you'll see even more driftwood. So let's go and take a look. So first tank, I can't really show you this too much because this is his contest tank for next year's IAPLC. And I can't wait to see what he's going to do with it. Right now there's hardscape in there and it looks really, really nice. But once, once he gets it planted, I'm sure it's going to look even better. And Watch out for his name. I, I can't wait to see what he comes up with. So this is what we see when we walk in. This is a 60 centimeter low type tank. And we've got some mollies in there. Black mollies, I think. And you can see it's like an Iwagumi using lava rocks. Or the Unzan stones by ADA. Really, really nice. And you can see it's got the ADA stand, the metal stand. And on the sides, you've got the opening for where you put the canister filter. And then on the other side is where the CO2 is. But yeah, really nice. And I love how he uses a lot of plants in his store. You can see this is one of the tanks he set up when he was in the... when he was working at ADA. Aqua Design Amano. And there's the specs. 180 by 60 by 60 centimeter tank. Take a look at that. That was one of my favorite tanks. And there's a YouTube video of the setup of this tank. So maybe I'll link that down below and you guys can check that out later. But also take a look at all the driftwood that's hung up. And they're all for sale too, so. They're display items as well as uh, selling items. And over here you've got some more driftwood. And down below you've got rocks, even here there's rocks and you can see towards the left side we've got plants. This tank looks like it's filled with mostly cryptocorins. So many different types of cryptocorins in this tank, some Ludwigia super red. And down below, check this out. We've got some Wabikusa plants and then more cryptocorns and you've got cryptocorn bulosa still in its immersed form but then you've got balance and balance is a super nice looking cryptocorn I love the textures on the leaves and then on to the next rack we have more plants and then towards over there there's fish lots of fish so yeah, just a quick glimpse of the store. Let's take a look at some of the plants here. So you've got some mosses, flame moss, weeping moss, bucephalandra. Take a look at the bucephalandra section over here. Really, really nice. All right, so let's move on to the fish section. We'll check out some of their cool fish that they have here. And some that I don't know, like these guys. Because this place carries a very good range of fish. Look at those chocolate guranis. And I love how the owner makes them feel so natural using katapa leaves and adding plants into the tanks just to make the fish feel safer. Look at these guys. Look how blue they are. Incredible. Really, really nice. And they've also got a good beta selection here, so we'll check that out in just a moment. But got the rummy nose tetra as well as the penguin. Is that pen no, that's not a penguin tetra. What is that? Man, yeah, there's so many types of fish that I don't know. We've got the Corydoras pygmaeus 
And then next to that, these guys I also don't really know. Yeah, I am not so sure what these are. If you know, comment down below. I know that those are like ruby tetras or something, but... Yeah. And check this out, the auto sinkless tank here. Look at how cool this tank looks. Just filled with a bunch of auto sinkless catfish and the driftwood. It looks like a biotope. This is awesome. Look at them. On the glass. On the driftwood. Just everywhere. I love this tank. And you can see down below, you've got different types of substrate. Onto this section over here. I think these are ember tetras. Pretty common fish. The galaxy rasboras or the celestial pearl daniels, as well as some um, zebra daniels. You can see the colors look amazing. And next to that, you've got the clown killifish. And then the Emperor Tetra. Really, really nice. Down below, I'm not too sure what these ones are, but you've got that fish again. Oh no, this is slightly different than the ones we saw in previous videos. I think it's different. But yeah, so many cool fish here. And check these out, I've never seen this before. Like, what type? of fish is that? No idea. Down below, this is quite cool. I don't know what this plant is, but it looks super unique in there. White cloud minnows in this tank. And then over here you've got Siamese algae eaters, as well as some Corydoras panda, and some female bettas, I think. There's another one right there. And next to that, you've got mollies, black mollies, yellow mollies, some anubiuses. This anubius here is called Anubius kirin. And, and in Japanese, kirin has like two meanings. First, the first one is giraffe, and the second one is like the kirin beer. And they're saying that it's more, the name is more referring towards the beer which I'm, I'm not so sure why and yeah it's still a fairly new plant I think there's not many of them around but uh, I think they sell those in other countries as well so I'm not sure where the name comes from but pretty interesting and in this tank another fish that I'm not too familiar with but you can see how nice the tank looks with the lotus in the back the nympha of some sort and then check this out. Look how awesome this is. The fish are just all hiding under the floating plant. And when you stick your hand up, they're all so active. Super cool. And then this tank is awesome. Just look at all the fish in there. Wow. Just incredible. And then here you've got the Harlequin Rasboras. with some other fish. Cherry barbs as well. And then down in here you've got the Platinum Rummy Nose Tetra with the Black Phantom Tetra. Yeah. I think this ram is called the Japan Red Ram if I'm not mistaken because this, this ram, it's not gold. It's really red. It's hard to tell on camera, especially with the color of the gravel, but it's red in color. Well, not as red as the Rummy Nose Tetras, but it's still a nice looking ram. And then here, my favorite fish, the Sabor Resplendens, Asian Rummy Nose Rasboras, and look how many there are in this tank. That is just insane. Crazy. Man, I wish I could get these fish. Look at that. That is so cool incredible you can see how healthy they are too and in the tank down below you've got more anubias nana and you've got this algae eater 
And in the tank next to that, you gotta check out this cool fish. I bet you can't see it. But take a look at that. Right in the gravel. I'm not too sure what this fish is called, but uh, I know it's from the Pantanal. And just look at how cool that fish looks. Man, that is awesome. And then here, you've got some gobies. A whole bunch of them. And this is the final tank. We've got some uh, pea puffers. And now opposite of all these tanks, we've got this little section of planted aquariums. You can check out this little one. This is a really small one, about 30 centimeters, I think. And I think it's newly set up because you don't see any fish in there. Next to that, you've got a hair grass tank with a bunch of shrimp. Check out those cherry shrimp. Super nice. I love the hair grass mixed in with the moss. Look at the moss on the on the rocks. Super super nice and green. And we're using the Chihiros lights for this, the WRGB. This one is the ADA Dua light, also RGB. And the colors are super nice. We'll walk around this way. And you can see that there's a 60 centimeter aquarium here. And this one's really cool because this is the second rendition. The first one, I'll put a picture up of it right now, but it was super jungly and super nice and green in color. A really nice looking setup. And then he rescaped it or reset it up. He didn't change the wood. He just left the wood in place and just changed the plants. So it's still newly set up. You can see the tenilis, the foreground. Look at those red tenilis. Super nice. And then you've got some microsorum. In the back, you've got some lotus. Lucifalandra. And some cryptocorns behind the driftwood. And it will be super cool to see what this tank looks like in a couple of months. Let you hear us WRGB lights with the acrylic stand. And now this section is one of my favorite sections because it's just filled with hardscape materials. But before that, take a look at this Cryptoporin Pink Flamingo in this Dua Shizuku pot. That is super cool. You don't get to see pink flamingo like that often. But yeah, a bunch of driftwood to choose from. And on this side is all the products. Dried goods, aquascaping tools, soil, substrate, fertilizers, your mini CO2 canisters. These are really nice, but... And then if we move on to the back here, first of all, you've got this fridge that stores all the tissue culture plants. You've got a mixture of ADA plants as well as Tropica 1-2 grow plants, which is very nice. It's always nice to have a wide selection of plants. And then these two tanks here, more planted tanks. Look at the Hygrophila pinna to feed in here. There's, there's a lot in there and it's really nice. And check out the Bulbitis as well. Look at how healthy it is. All those purling leaves. The lights that are lighting up this tank are the ADA Solo RGBs. And he uses that for his contest tank as well. So you can see them lined up right there. The tank down below is another tank, but this time with stem plant. And you can see this one has the Chihiros WRGB Slim. It's the Slim model. But in this tank here, you've got a few different types of stem plants. And some of the Rotalas back there, they look the same, but they're pretty different. You can see here, you've got some Unzan stones. The stones with the holes in them for you to plant stuff in, basically. And up above, right here, you've got a selection of Wabikusa. So with these plants, you can either stick them in your aquarium and they'll grow 
submerged leaves or you can plant them in like paludariums or terrariums which is pretty neat yeah look at this store really really nice love the atmosphere so what do you guys think about this store it's pretty nice right let me know in the comments down below but we can't finish yet because we've got this section right here and i know many people will really really like this section look at all the betas in here take a look at this guy that is incredible so clean these tanks and this setup too the setup is amazing because this is diy such a great selection of betas here you can see how clean the tanks are too i think this is one of my favorites look at the colors on that really neat is that like a Nemo Koi or something, what they call it, or Candy? Candy Beta? This one's nice too. Ooh, this is another one that I like. It's called the Banana Yellow Placat. Super cute, super nice color. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Aquagrass. It's a wonderful store and I want to thank Mr. Ochi-san for letting me do this tour. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss stuff like this. And also go check out Ochi-san's Instagram uh, because he's got a wonderful Instagram page and he's always doing updates of what he has in his store. So I'll link his Instagram down below. And one more thing before we go, be sure to watch out for his IAPLC tank. This tank right here coming out next year. I can't wait to see it. IPLC no contest suiso tanashimi ni shitemasu. Gambarimasu. Mokumo gambare. All right. We'll see you guys next time.